textbook. Okay, so you see that somewhere. Where is it? 6.2. Oops, it's right here. So in 6.2, Exploring Graphs of Systems of Linear Inequalities, they give you this situation about a nursery school, and it serves morning and afternoon snacks to its students. There they are, there, they're having some, looks like maybe apple juice and some apples. Okay, it's a lot of variety there. Uh, the morning snacks are fruits, vegetables, and juice. The afternoon snacks are cheese and milk. Okay, so the situation is this. The school can accommodate 50 students or fewer all together. So it's a maximum of 50 kids. Students can attend for just the morning or for a full day. The morning snack costs $1 per student per week. The afternoon snack costs $2 per student per week. The weekly snack budget is $120 or less. So hopefully at this point, you're reading this and you're being able to pick out the inequalities here. Okay, That's kind of where you should be right now. You should read this and you should say, hey, 50 students or fewer. A max of 50 students. So that is... Um, looks like morning students or uh, afternoon students because they can choose either this total number of students has to be less than or equal to 50 see that so that's sort of the one inequality that's embedded in this question okay the morning snack costs the afternoon snack costs okay and we have a budget so here's the next part is about money right it's one dollar for each morning snack. It's two dollars for every afternoon snack. And that money that you spend on those snacks has to be less than or equal to $120. So there's your second piece. Okay. So this is the kind of thing that you're going to need to now do in transitioning from 6.2 to 6.3 is uh, make up um, a, a sort of a system of linear inequations here. So the question is, what combinations of morning and full day students can the school accommodate and stay within the weekly snack budget? And that's what we need to look at. Okay? So how might we go about that? Well, we've already identified two inequalities. I don't know if you wrote those down or not, but you may have been wondering, well, what variables am I going to use, Mr. Maxwell? X, Y, that's what we've normally been using. So here's the thing, and this is very important, and we'll discuss this more as we move through this chapter. but identifying the variables very very important okay you could just go x and y but you have to think okay what does x actually mean what does y actually mean and the tip okay the tip is in the question all right when you're looking at the question it says this what combinations of morning and full day students can the school accommodate and stay within the weekly snack budget okay so that is basically the instances of snacks in the morning the number of morning snacks and then the number of, uh, of afternoon snacks as well, okay? And so we have to kind of uh, put all that together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to take a couple minutes and see if you can come up with, we may or may not actually do the whole thing, but I want to see if you can come up with uh, systems of linear inequalities here for this question. So go ahead and do that with a partner. If you want, take a couple minutes and do that. All right, so um, I used M and F, M for morning students, F for full day students. Good idea to let your variables equal letters that will remind you during and at the end of the question what you're actually looking for, okay? So the first inequality should be pretty easy, okay? The first one, I'll do it in red over here. So the school can accommodate 50 students or fewer altogether. So that is morning students and full day students. The number of them has to be what? Right. Morning plus full students has to be less than or equal to 50. I would totally agree with that. Okay? All together. Doesn't matter if they stay half day or whatever. The morning is going to be probably the highest number because there's some morning and then there's some that stay all day. Now, the cost. I wonder how many of you picked this up because there's a little snag here with the cost. It's not... 1M uh, plus 2F. It's not. Does someone have anything different? What would you have? I have M plus 2A, which means um, 1 per morning, and the A means the afternoon students. Okay, but it's not afternoon students, actually. It's full-day students. But if it's the same thing. 
Not same thing, no. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. No. This is the snag. I'm glad you said that because this is the snag. This is the trick. Okay, I wonder who got this. So look at It's morning and then it's full day. Full day includes what? Morning and afternoon snacks. So these kids are staying full day. All right, okay. So, anybody else want to take a guess now? Yeah? 1M plus 3M is what center each to 120. One dollar times every morning snack for all the morning students, plus the full day students are going to cost three dollars. Three because they, they eat in the morning and they eat in the afternoon. Okay, so it has to be less than or equal to 120. Okay. Quite the stir here. Now, this is dollar sign. You can put dollar sign there to help you remember that we're talking about money. You don't have to. Okay? Everybody got it? Everybody got it? <clears throat> All right. So, what I'd like you to do now, what I'd like you to do now is like you take another few minutes, and if you haven't started this already, I want you to graph it. Okay? Graph the inequality, and I want you to answer this question from your graph. What combinations of morning and full day students, given these restraints here, can the school accommodate and stay within the weekly snack budget? So again, students, what, what's the nature of the domain and range here? Is it X, E, R, Y, E, R? No, we're not going to feed 4.758 kids, okay, whole number kids, right? Can't be negative number of kids. Whole number of kids. We could have zero kids in the in the afternoon, right, or in the morning, or whatever it is. I, no, whatever. We could have zero. Is okay. So go ahead and graph that. Take a few minutes to do that, just like we did last section. Okay. So here's the graph. Now, I uh, we should have just whole number increments, right, because of um, morning students, full day students. So it should be just dots. I didn't know how to do that on my graphing program, but if you look here, any dot that is on the line, so any full number increment that's actually on the line here should work. And anything that's below, so all of these right here, you see that? All of these. All of these dots. It's frozen. Frozen. That's nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So 20. <laughs> okay, so you see that? So all the all the dots here. Now I, I wouldn't I won't make you, you know, make a thousand dots or anything. But just so you have an idea that's what we're looking for. So what combinations of morning and full day students can the school accommodate and stay within the weekly snack budget? Now here's something interesting, okay? Anything that's close to the boundaries, okay, are going to be the ones that are going to, and this is going to be probably next year and the year after that, no, you guys are in grade 11. So it'll be next semester and next year, um, should you be pursuing calculus at all, or um, <coughs> pre-calculus 30. We're going to be talking about optimization and maximizing and minimizing things. So the, boys, the combination that is going to be at or near the intersection points here, or at or near the boundaries, are probably going to be the ones they're going to be looking at first, okay? So for example, you could look at a dot right here, or a dot right here that's really close to this section, or a dot over here that's going to, you know, maybe um, give you a maximum number of either one or both of these variables. So, what is this point right here? I gotta zoom in here. So, what is this? Uh, these are each two, I guess. So, 10, 12, 14, and what? 34? 14 and 34? So, 14 morning students and 34 full day students. Is that what that looks like? So, I think I've got this is M and this is F. So is that at or below 50? It's 48, so we're good. Okay, so that's 48. Um, and is that going to stay within our budget? Well, it should, because this is the region that we shaded, right? So that's going to be $14, 14 times N, 14 times 1, plus, uh, what's 34 times 3? That's going to be 102. So that's going to be what? 116. So that's that's uh, underneath the budget. So that would be one combination, looks like. See that? And that's this dot right here. So you could have any of these dots, pick any of these dots that you want, and those would be suitable combinations. 
This dot over here wouldn't work. Why wouldn't this one work? It's outside of which region? It's outside of this one. So you're going to have students that are, you're going to have more than 50 students here. If you fed them, um, if you fed them, you would be with under, uh, within the budget with this number, but you wouldn't fit this criteria. Does everybody see that? Okay. Right. Any other questions on that?